The Zoological Wildlife Foundation is an organization dedicated to educating the public about rare and endangered animals, both in captivity and in the wild. Our friend, host of Sip and the Tea, Matt Dillon, is here to talk not only about his work with the foundation, but also the new episodes of his show. Hi, Matt. Hey, Matt. What's up? Hi, girl. I didn't know, up, baby. How you doing? I, I didn't know about the zoological foundation connection. That's because I didn't tag you in anything, <laughs> but I, I basically post about the chimp every the day. The chimp is uh, that's fantastic. Tell me about how that all came to be with you. Honestly, it was a moment after Fashion Week. I had been following the foundation and Limbani on social media, and they do such a phenomenal job of creating a mini star out of this chimp to bring that awareness. Yeah. And I was like, I have to meet this chimp, <laughs> and it was instant love. Yeah. Instant love. Okay, so look, we, you and I talked about this. Mm -hmm. Zoos get a really bad rap. Mm -hmm. Zoos are very controversial in this day and age. So what makes this place different? Why, why should they not get the same wrath as a regular zoo? I tend to agree with you. The flack that, that the, you know, that kind of like the lay concept of what a zoo is and what this is. This being a foundation, it's a private entity. Mm -hmm. So... They approach this as education to further the, the preservation of the endangered animals. The reality is the animals that are in the foundation, and a lot of animals that are in zoos too, to be educated, they would die if they were actually in their natural habitat. Yeah. There's poaching, there's, right. you know, Especially extinction. Especially for exotics. Exotics, yeah. you know what I mean? So sure. the, the understanding of that is it's the, it's the better part of, you know, of keeping the, the, the species alive mm -hmm. longer, but also being able to, you know, educate people and, and break that stigma. Because uh -huh. it is a stigma. Yeah. It is. Like, these animals at the foundation have the best life. It's, it's not the, the life that they would have, but those days, due to all these outside factors, are very slim and very few. What have you learned uh, ab about this from your experience with the Zoological Foundation? For me, it yeah. was... It, it's an amazing concept to be able to be there and, and understand, to go behind the social media, to go behind the memes that are made and all of that kind of stuff to be that this is not a once, you know, a once a month kind of situation. This is a lifelong commitment from Mario Tabrau, who started this with his wife, mm -hmm. Maria, to actually live authentically and, you know, before he dies, to have made such an impact that, you know, everybody wants to come here and everybody wants to build and that he, can, you know, this is one in Miami, but he can build a whole empire of yeah. this and actually change the way that people, people view think. things. Because it is, you know, people, it's it's a hot topic. Yeah, of it's course it is. It's a hot topic. But if you went there, you'd, you'd see firsthand. And it's not just Limbani, it's exotic tigers, exotic um, lemurs, mm -hmm. emus. It's, a, it's a across the board. So it's a full experience for people. They do college classes, school classes, and I think that's important to start young. Yeah. Because everybody has a fascination with animals. Oh, but it's sure. like to Especially break kids. it down and yeah. really understand. When you're watching a 30-second video of Limbani driving a little sports car. Yeah, see, now that's what, okay, so that's what I want to talk about. Because the, the brilliance in the way they're doing this is they're, they're really tackling social media. Mm -hmm. And Limbani has become this, like, little social media star. 700K on the gram, a billion thousand followers. Chip. We need to get a regram on that. Yeah, we do. And Limbani, <laughs> will you please repost this whole thing? I mean, this is a, but see, this is the way to educate. I mean, because everybody has this in their hand now, this might be the way to do it. It's so genius, and it also is kind of like, it's kind of like that punch in the face, being like, well, you're going to say what you're going to say anyway, so we're just going to do. And if you're smart enough, you'll see behind the 45 seconds and be like, wow, they're geniuses. The team he's built around him of young people that are being trained, that are being trained up to the zookeeper level, uh -huh. are all part of contributing to this social media. So it's right. taking those moments and using that as that platform to educate because right. everybody's on that phone. Right. Right. So here's, what I, here's the question I have. Who are you and what have you done with Matt Dillon? <laughs> This is the most serious discussion we've ever had. You are like the party guy. You're the fun guy, and you're talking about such serious stuff. Somebody yeah. must really mean something to you. Somebody said to me, they were like, you're going to leave PR and end up um, going to work as a zookeeper. And I was like, why not? <laughs> Honestly, it's something that I just fell in love with. And I, I actually, coming off the back, the first time I went was at every fashion week, yeah. which is February and September yeah. in New York, that I go, 
Darling, I know. Yeah, I it's know. not Sorry, about it's you, not about bro. Today, he, wants, he wants Sorry. you to talk about sipping the tea yeah, because that's what he's into. That's yeah, so funny. But it's for me, it was it's almost like mental therapy. Yeah. To be surrounded by animals and to also the team that he's put together, and I have to give a shout out to Jay, Geneva, um, <laughs> Daniel, the way that you vibe their passion and you see that. Right. And these are people that just started like me. It makes you want to be passionate. It makes about me want to be too. that, and it makes me. I will talk to the end of the days about this. So, That's so, so, cool. so you can, if you are in Miami, go and visit this place. If you're in Miami, if you're not, get go. your butt there. You can go visit. Uh, log on to their website. Follow Limbani at uh, Limbani ZWF. There's no way after me, you know. There's no way that you won't feel the same that I do. And it's also like. Ask the questions. Understand that this is not, this is not a play thing. Yeah. yeah. This is like a lot of people talk about the concept. You know, there's a, a lot of people that jump in and have opinions and don't understand things. The, these visits and interactions are very curated. This is not. Oh, he's just jumping in your arms. Yeah. This is curated for right. the safety of. Limbani that, right. and Answer. the safety of your children and you as adults. So, so this is a foundation so people can contribute. We yeah. encourage you to yeah. do that. Thanks so much. Thanks, for that. Thank you. Thank you, Lala. Sorry, that. it wasn't about you today. Sorry, Lala. Girl. Can we get a good clean shot of that T-shirt with that? Without the little puppy. Bye, oh, uh, there you there's go. There's Limbani. the face. That's oh, the face that, that looks everyone... like ET. There's yeah, Limbani. Yeah, there's the face. Yeah, that, that's it. That's <laughs> Come the in, one. baby. There ah, it is. Very cool. All right. Matt, Thank good you. to Thank see you. you. Thanks so much. Thank you so great. much, guys. Great work you're doing there.